Well, if you want to look like a princess on your wedding day, you need a long train. Our own Princess Mary had one when she married Frederick. Fergie had one when she tied the knot with Andrew. And who can forget Diana's eight metre train when she married Charles? But there's one wedding dress in Melbourne that tops the lot. And today's Georgie Quill is there. Morning to you, Georgie. Good I... morning, Lisa. Well, sorry, you go. I was going to say, I see it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I can understand that reaction, Lisa. Now, this brings a whole new meaning to the term, here comes the bride. This bride just keeps going and going and going <laughs> and going. And she keeps going, in fact, for 1.8 kilometres. This is the world's longest bridal train. And we've got Martina modelling this morning, braving the cold here at Telstra Dome in Melbourne. It is 65 kilograms in weight, more than 5,000 crystals. And if we were to stretch it out here at Telstra Dome, goal to goal, it would go 10 times. But there's a really lovely, serious side to this and a really great cause behind this. Now, you can actually bid for this dress, Lisa, online. We'll have the details on our Today Show website. So if you can see yourself in this, you can jump online and bid. It's worth up to $25,000. And you can keep bidding until Monday. And the wonderful thing, all of the money, every single cent raised, will go go towards the McGrath Foundation to continue Jane McGrath's legacy of increasing breast cancer awareness, particularly amongst young women. So it's a fantastic cause. Now, if you don't see yourself in this dress, Lisa, which, you know, depends on your, uh, your taste, um, and you happen to be in Melbourne over the weekend, particularly with the school holidays on, you can come to Telstra Dome, have a look at the Bridal Expo, and some of the money from your entrance fee, $12, will go towards the National Breast Cancer Foundation. So it's really a win-win either way. But So if you can see yourself back here, guys, and you get at home and you sort of think, oh, I think that uh, bridal dress looks like me, but, you know, maybe you want to jump online and bid for it. Or as I... <laughs> But Lisa, I think the problem is if, if you're going to wear a dress like this, I've worked out you need a few things. You need a very patient husband to be. You need to find a church or an aisle that goes for 1.8 kilometres. Yep. You need a Celine Dion ballad that goes for around 30 minutes, maybe. Or you need a bridesmaid that just happens to be a marathon runner who can pick up the train at the end. Yes, yeah, so And I'm I have thinking, to use my cameraman's... <laughs> I don't have enough girlfriends to carry that. I wish I did. <laughs> and also, how do you clean it? Um, you know, my cameraman's joke, I have to copy it. He said, Georgie, the bride may be on time, but the train will be late. I'll leave you with that. Nice. <laughs> okay, Georgie, thanks for that. <laughs>